Yo, what's up, Mumble Fuck? Oh, fuck the pack right here. And today, I don't know, today, since I'm bored and I'm home alone and I don't got nothing to do, I decided to tell you a story from my childhood, you know, when I was growing up. All right. So, ever since I was a kid, right, I was always, always, always into the paranormal and supernatural and all that stuff. Now, and all that stuff. Now, I never did anything crazy. Like, I, I, I never did no, no, no seance. I never played with no Ouija board and nothing like that. And I don't want to, okay? People, be, people always want to say, oh, Ouija boards aren't dangerous. We, I played with Ouija board a hundred times and nothing ever happened to me. Well, good for you. <laughs> Just because you can talk to spirits and play with Ouija boards and have nothing happen to you doesn't mean nothing ain't gonna happen to me. Like, hello? <laughs> I hate when people say that. Nigga, that doesn't make it any less dangerous, my G. You legit talking to demons out this, out this beast, all right? 100%. Like, oh, nothing ever happened to me. Mm -hmm. Not yet. <laughs> Now, nah, you 100% going to end up stretched, my G. Then going to end up dragging you into a closet like in paranormal activity. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yo, 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 but yo, for real. Anyway, I, I was I was always uh, <laughs> into ghosts and stuff growing up. You know, I, I used to always watch all these ghost shows like, like um, A Haunting, The Haunted, Ghost Adventures. You know, they, they used to have these weird um, haunting shows about schools and stuff that I used to watch and all that. You know, I used to watch uh, ce Celebrity Ghost Stories. That was a real favorite show of mine. But, uh, yeah, man, I was always, always, always into ghosts and stuff, right? And, um, and, uh, and I'm, in, I'm really into horror. I, I'm really into horror and, and creepypastas, you know. And I read creepypastas and, and listen to stories on YouTube all the time, you know. And I've basically seen pretty much every single horror movie. That it's rare for a, a, a new horror movie to actually grab my attention. The last horror movie that I've seen that grabbed my attention was It. The new It. I've seen both versions. I love the new... The old version was cool. I love the new It so much more. But It, the newer one, was the last horror movie to grab my attention. Nothing else has interested me since. But, yeah, man, I've always been into the scary stuff, right? You know, and um, I, I I've tried <laughs> I've tried to play a Bloody Mary a few times at different points of my life, like like a few times with my brother and some of my cousins, and I always freaked out and ended up running away before we finished calling her out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It'd be like Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, and then I'll <laughs> I'll run out the freaking bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Like, nope, you know you ain't saying. <laughs> You're not saying the third time before I can get out this bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Like, 100% um, a few years back in high school, right? Um, it, was, it, was, it, was the last, it was the last day of school. And, uh, we, and uh, I was in the culinary arts department at the New Market School Center, and we was just messing around. You know, and I, we was helping clean it, clean up and stuff and getting ready to shut down. And, you know, I walked into the freezer to, to pull some food out or something. And 100% one of my classmates legit turned off the light and, and tried to lock me in there. <laughs> I legit, legit was stuck in the freezer for like five minutes, man. Okay. And then dude had the nerve to try to say Bloody Mary. Bro, I was so freaked out. I was like, yo, 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 stop all that. Cut, yo, stop right now. Stop that. <laughs> And he thought it was hilarious. L luckily, luckily he didn't get it. Get to a third time of saying Bloody Mary. He only said it like once or twice. But bro, I was so scared. I'm like, you know, you are not about to summon the stick in this freezer with me. You know what I'm saying? But look, that's not what I want to talk about. Okay, I want to talk specifically about. Um, I, don't know, I think I was in. I think I was in middle school. I was either in the seventh or eighth grade. Okay. Um. I was living in Houston, Texas at the time, okay? I was living in Texas, right? Uh, and I lived in this somewhat, not somewhat, well, I lived in this ghetto neighborhood, now, G, 100% ghetto neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it, and you know, 
You know it was ghetto. You know you know what's ghetto when the police is called basically pretty much every single day. Always some kind of fight or something going down. I, me and my brother, had, we've had a fair share of arguments and fights in this neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know it's ghetto when uh, the police are called pretty much every single day and a fight breaks out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But look, look, here's the thing, man. In this neighborhood, on this street, my G, there was like five ab empty abandoned houses five okay and i i they've always piqued my interest you know i'm like i really want to go into one of these houses my g i, I want to explore i want to search around and one day i actually did it it, it was in the summertime and you know you know what before i continue now i had two dogs right i had two pit bulls one one name was boss one name was Misty, okay, and one day they broke out of my backyard, you know, because we, did, we didn't have them on a leash or chain or anything, because they would always wrap themselves around trees and get stuck and be choking themselves, so we, we, we leave the chain and leash off, okay, but anyway, my two pit bulls broke out, and the girl, Misty, came back, but then she ran away again, but my, my other one, Boss, I found him dead behind a bush, by one of the abandoned houses. So yeah, that 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 uh that that uh that hit, that hit me hard when I was a kid, man. I was pretty shook after that. But um, moving on from that, uh, one day in the summer, me, two of my cousins, my brother, and my little sister, we all went to the same abandoned house. In which, where I found one of my dogs dead. Oh, and just to clarify, I never saw Misty again. Misty never came back. But um, we went, we went to the same uh, abandoned house and to in which where I found Boss dead. You know what I'm saying? But uh, the door was unlocked. You know, and we walked in, and bro, the inside. And let me tell you, the windows were all broken. The bushes were growing inside, growing in through the window inside of the house. And man, upon walking into into the house, right, the the brown carpet was stained in its black liquid. There were holes in the wall. There were clothes and magazines and trash covering the kitchen floor and a bit. And the individual bedrooms floor, there was these black garbage bags just sitting everywhere. And, you know, and uh, at first upon entering the house, me and my family, my, you know, my squad, we were, just, we were just standing there looking around like, yo, what is this? What happened in here? You know what I'm saying? At first, we, we were shocked. I don't know what we were expecting to find, but... It certainly wasn't that apparently, you know what I'm saying? We 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 stood we stood that shot. We was like, yo, what is this? But uh, bl bl this mysterious black liquid stained on the carpet, you know, trash bags everywhere. Just the floors littered with trash, rooms littered with trash, and have clo there were clothes everywhere, you know. We started um we started wa walking further throughout the house, right? And uh we 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 entered one room. And, you know, it wasn't really in any much, it, it, it was in the same condition. Like I said, all the rooms were in, like, this terrible, con extremely bad condition, right? But uh, we, we went to this one room, you know, we looked around. You know, it wasn't, there was, wasn't really much to see, you know. It all looked the same, essentially. But um, we, we was about to head into the kitchen when all of a sudden we heard this loud bang. Like, I'm okay. the The backyard door was wide open. We when we walked in through the when we walked in through the front, the backyard door was wide open. You can see into the backyard, and there was this large tree just growing up, blocking the uh the doorway, preventing you from going going out into the backyard. There was this large tree just growing up, blocking the way, right? So while we were leaving the one room we entered and, and started peeking into the others, we thought we was about to walk into the kitchen. And then all of a sudden, we just heard this loud bang. I look, the backyard door was shut, man. The backyard door, the backyard door just slammed shut, 
me, my cousins, my brother, we screamed at the top of our lungs. We was all like, whoa! Ah! Man, and, uh... <laughs> Uh, we was up for for a second. I thought the front door was gonna close and have us trapped up in the house, man. I thought we was about to get. I thought we were in monster house for a second. You know what I'm saying? I thought we was about to get eight. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we screamed at the top of our lungs, man, and and we ran out the house. We we ran through the front lawn, cut down the street all the way. Um, cut down the street, ran all the way down. Uh, to my grandma's house because my parents' house and my grandma's house is right next to each other. Right, we ran all the way to my. Well, I ran to my grandma's house. My brother, sister, cousins, they all went into my mom's house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so we basically split up essentially. But we ran down the street screaming like ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and then, and Neighbors coming outside, man. They were staring at us, man. We was, we was all like, what's going on? What's going on? Man, we ran into the house so fast, slammed the door shut. We didn't go back outside for like the rest of the day, man. <laughs> we, we we stayed inside, man, for like the longest time. But, uh, yeah, man, I still, it, it was freaky, man, because, because of seeing, seeing the state of the house. It's what, it's what really put us on the edge, my G. And, uh, when the door just shut all loud and randomly, it freaked us out. I'm like, yo, what is that? And we just screaming and pushing each other to get out of the house. And the whole time, before we even get out of the house, I'm thinking like some ghost is about to run up on us and then and then drag and drag us uh, further back inside. Specifically me, because I felt like this presence, yo. And I'm like, yo, go, 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 get out, get out. <coughs> hurry up, hurry up, run. <laughs> hey, you know what's time, man? I was like the slowest one, and I'm the oldest. <laughs> I was like the slowest one. But, oh, uh, yeah, man. We we running down the street screaming our heads off like somebody trying to kill us or something, my G. <sighs> I don't even think we told her. I don't even think I told my grandma. I don't even think we told our parents, 100%. If we did, they didn't think it was that big of a deal because they didn't say nothing. <laughs> But um, uh, yeah, man. A, a, f a few months after that, I went back to that house, you know, to see if the door was the door would still be open. But unfortunately, it wasn't. It was locked. <laughs> Somebody locked the door. I don't know, man. I kind of, I kind of wanted to explore more of the house, you know, get a deeper look around. And, you know, one day I was just going to go in by myself, which probably wasn't the best of ideas because a crazy person could have probably been hiding out in there. And, you know, something most likely would have happened to me. But I wasn't even thinking about that. Yo, I'm like, yo, I'm going to go in this house again. But uh, unfortunately, that wasn't the case because the doors was locked this time. Couldn't get in. No way in. But uh, from what we saw, man, it was a devastated house. And, uh, but, uh... We couldn't, we couldn't, there was four other abandoned houses on, on that, in that neighborhood, on that street, but we couldn't get into them. The doors were all locked in those too. We could look in through the windows and some of the houses actually looked real nice on the inside, but trash on the outside, you know, but we could never get into any of them, you know, so that sucks. You know, me and my brother tried a few of those houses, but, uh, we couldn't get them, man. We couldn't get in them, but, uh, yeah, man. That happened. <sighs> but yeah, yo, man. They had me shook for a while. They had all of us shook for a while, yo. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, man. That's just a little story that I wanted to share with y'all. You know, because Halloween is literally tomorrow, you know. So I just wanted to share y'all somewhat, share with y'all somewhat scary experience, you know, that I had in, in my youth, in my childhood, you know. Bro, yeah, man. That's it. Pizza, my wolf pack. Your alpha has spoken.